How big is a quantum computer? Oh, it, it's, um, it's the size of, I'm looking I'm in my, my kitchen right now, I'm looking at my refrigerator. It's the size of <laughs> three or four refrigerators, say. Three or four refrigerators. Oh, yeah, so okay. it's not tiny like your laptop, yeah. but it's, you know, comfortably fits in a room and, mm. and uh, you know, uh, you, yeah. can, you can work on it yourself. Yeah, that's fascinating. I was actually thinking about refrigerators earlier as well today because here I am going to talk about quantum computing with an expert in quantum computing, but I'm actually fascinated by all sorts of technology. I mean, I don't know how my refrigerator works either. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of interesting. I don't know how my vacuum cleaner works. But on the other hand, uh, like vacuum cleaners don't have a sort of a Morse law where they sort of get better and better exponentially. Yeah, right. Uh, right so right. they're not they're not as interesting to look at as, uh, and they don't have this sort of uh, strange, mysterious part to them either, as uh, like yeah, the quantum and, computers. And do. that's what's interesting, of course, about quantum computing is it has this strange new uh, power. But on the other hand, humans have believed in a lot stranger things in the past. I mean. Uh, uh, I mean, elephants with several arms uh, that are gods that live in the sky. There are, you know, minotaurs, uh, horse uh, people. Uh, so, so like on the larger scale of things, it's not that weird. Well, yeah. And, you know, uh, if you look at the history of computers, um, you know, yeah. I'm old enough now that when I was a young person, computers were these strange and mysterious things. And, right. uh, you know, not very many people understood them in that sense. And yet when you saw my, my boys growing up and they started playing with it and they started programming when they were, I don't know, 12 years old or so mm, by yeah. going online and looking at courses and downloading things. And, you know, you can kind of just learn it on your own almost now. So, uh, yeah, things, things get different once you can start playing with something and yeah. seeing how it works. and of course, it interests you and you're motivated to do that. And I think that's what's going to happen more and more with quantum mechanics as we build these much more sophisticated and maybe easy to use quantum systems. People have talked about this, that really computer science and the whole industry of software really blossomed immensely when people could start playing with computers and they got cheap enough. So, oh, right, yeah, uh, yeah in, in, you know, that's what we're hoping will hap happen with quantum computers, too, is, mm. you know, we have to build these things and learn how to use. But as more and more people can learn how to program it and use it and, you know, who knows what inventiveness will come out. If you have a question for John, just write it in the comments field before the end of July 2020. If you liked this video, why not make it official? Press the subscribe button and then the bell beside it. And while you're doing that, why not also open your window and shout out the name of my channel. Stir fried fascination! Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.